Hello, this is the previous example, so I don't change it. I want to show a thing before I go into the classes and the constructor, okay? You can initialize it with uh, a similar method that we did with the arrays. So, and the number and it should give a similar result than earlier we get like that as you can see it has a similar um, result alright then uh, we can very easily change class and structure because they are very similar so if you uh, type class here the only difference is that these members are private in class but uh, but uh, public in uh, struct so uh, if we want to use public then we just write public and a colon after it I love to get into a little bit more them so put a space there because it is just um, <coughs> better to see which is public, which is private, and which so private. Oh, yeah, we have a problem. So private, private, and there is another type is called protected, like that. Okay, the public is uh, public. It means we can uh, directly access to it from other from here for example so it I uh, in case of variable you shouldn't really use public you should uh, use private instead but because we don't uh, uh, make member functions yet we just stay with the public okay if these are here it doesn't care anyone because there is nothing in it so I just want to show you the so these are the visibilities it can be seen from out it cannot be seen from out the protect that cannot be seen from out but if we inheritance it we inherit this class so it will be the derived class uh, actually the base class, the derivative class can see it alright then so if I would put these variables to the private like here this is the default uh, visibility then if we want to compile the program it give a bunch of errors because we cannot change uh, because we cannot change it right we cannot change some private variable so just stay with the public yet and if we compile it now we get no error as you can see okay then uh, actually uh, make a constructor because I said we will make a constructor just delete this because uh, we need a space to show a new example so a constructor should be always public okay a constructor is pretty much a function a member function but it is a very spatial member function uh, there is one purpose of constructor it will call automatically whenever the class is uh, instance so declared a variable with this class so it's called instance all right uh, a member function is almost like a function but inside the class all right but because the constructor is uh, so spatial it has no return type not even void so uh, just the name name of the class exactly the name of the class and inside parentheses the parameters the arguments as in a normal function 
so it wait for a actually it waits for a const char c and it waits for a long id like that and we can uh, make it in line so we can make it here uh, but later we will uh, put it outside of the class okay make name equal to c don't worry the string has a constructor actually the assignment operator which constructs from uh, a char array so the c style string okay and i oh name it other things because i don't want to show you the this operator yet uh, id num all right so id equal id num like that okay now if we go here we can instance this class then oh i really should choose a simpler name for that and make it, it mm, make it person one as in the last tutorial and inside parentheses you can um, give something for example we give uh, quarter and a number as previously although it does that whenever the person one so the identification is instanced uh, it will call the constructor so this function automatically with these parameters so this character will be the C and the uh, 1 2 3 is the ID num and make the name equal to Carter and uh, the ID equals to that ID num so the number and now we can write out so person 1 dot name and after a space person one dot id and a new line okay in theory we could compile this program yeah and we can run it as we expected it is called this function we could write it something here like uh, construct had constructed all right then uh, run and as you can see it's constructed so the constructor is called yeah that is the constructor in a uh, very uh, so that is the constructor I want to say all right um, if we put these uh, members into private the constructor will work anyway but we can't write out so if we comment this out and compile the program and run it you see it's construct it is constructed so there is no error the uh, member function of the class actually these are methods member function it is the same in C++ it is called member function, in Java it's called method, but it's basically the same, so it they are synonyms. Uh, so a member function or a method can access to it to that class private or protected and protected variables so even and functions because a function can be private and this function cal cannot be called outside of the class it can be just called inside the class alright uh, mm, I think I covered everything that I wanted this tutorial and uh, this can be very useful uh, for you because it will construct automatically you don't have to write you don't have to directly access to the member functions and uh, and construct it manually 
for example if you imagine a game uh, I don't know a 2D or 3D game uh, there probably is an enemy class or something similar and its constructor have uh, constructs things like its life, its position and its mesh or image if it's 2D and uh, yeah it work like that and if there is need more enemy just the uh, instance uh, from the enemy class a new one and a new one so don't have to write over and over again just variables and probably that enemy class has uh, uh, member functions like attack and uh, member functions like uh, I don't know jump or go there or I don't know something like this uh, the, the member function which cannot be called uh, outside of the class is private it's mean it cannot be called that it, it's not needed to call outside of the class because the only user of that member function is one of the public or another uh, private member function so uh, outside of the class it don't have to be uh, called something like uh, hmm, something like reload for example because the class one of the class function calls it automatically for example key press uh, will call it automatically so there is no needed outside of the class so yeah that is when you uh, put private uh, to put the member functions to private all right a uh, class is i i wouldn't say it's harder but it need a completely different thinking about programming as we did earlier a uh, lot of programming language don't even uh, use object oriented programming or object based programming because they are different so object oriented and object based because um, uh, yeah object oriented has inheritance and uh, polymorphism and other such things while the object based uh, programming language has the just the struct and its member function for example the string class is just a simple object base uh, uh, it can be uh, make in a simple object base uh, programming language because it's not needed to be uh, inherited it's just a simple ca class as it is with member functions and member variables and so on so mm, some language force you to use object oriented programming like java if you ever use java the object oriented is uh, is actually the language itself so yeah uh, if you m uh, you have to start with making a program with create a class and then on those class there is uh, the main function uh, actually main method because uh, java has no function it just has method or member function these are synonyms but called methods in java okay and c++ is between the two you can use it as normally without object orientation like we did uh, with before these tutorials so we can make uh, interesting program with it so we made the sudoku solver earlier and and uh, yeah we can make uh, programs like this but if we want to write something like a game or or mostly a game uh, or bigger program then you will need definitely need object oriented programming you cannot uh, buy a C++ book which doesn't cover the object oriented programming uh, 